but all that stuff was still there, you know, and like, every time I'd drive, you make a drive somewhere, I'd be looking for places, good places to do stuff. So at that point, I had, you know, I, I just knew, I just accepted, it was only a matter of time, time and opportunity before I did something again. I just had decided by then that I wasn't going to do anything quite as uh, compulsive, I guess. I had decided to plan it out a little better or something. Well, it seems like even from when you were uh, in Oregon, you, had, you planned out taking that girl. That was pretty well planned. Yeah, but yeah, it was, but it was mostly just the situation that worked out because I mean, I hadn't even lived there very long when I did that. I just uh, you didn't know the area very well. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know what to expect or anything. I mean, my thought process had always been that. Um, if there's not a body, then, you know, just like, if there's not a body and not any witnesses, then, you know, there's a big search or whatever sometimes, but, if the person's not connected to me, then I probably won't ever even be questioned about it or whatever, so. Mm -hmm. And did that work? That, that's the way it worked, right? Well, yeah. Uh, I, I was just convinced that I had screwed up that time in Oregon because, you know, I, she, I, I let her go. Up until the time you were arrested in Texas, had you ever been questioned before about any of the um, murders that you committed? No. No one ever stopped you? Question nope. you? How about any, any rapes? Anybody ever questioned you about any of... No. How about any other crimes you committed where you ever questioned? Um, no, well, I mean, there was, like, really minor stuff that happened when I was a teenager when I was breaking into houses, but not. Right. You told us the other day that you could tell, you know, because you were trying to, you knew you didn't want to get caught. How would you identify a victim so that you would, you know, try to decrease the chances that you would be caught? Well, <laughs> back when I was smart, I would um, do it. I would let them come to me. I don't understand. Just remote area, you know, not not kind of kind of like go to a remote area that's not anywhere near where you live. But that other people go to as well. You might not get exactly what you're. There's not as much to choose from, in a manner of speaking. But there's also no witnesses, really. There's nobody else around. So um, and then when they. When they disappear, a lot of times nobody's really surprised because it happens all the time. See, that's the part I'm trying to. Marathon make. runner. <laughs> the Mount Marathon guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what I'm trying to figure out so, but if somebody's camping in a remote spot, someone's going to know that they didn't come home. Right. So, did you have other things you looked for? In a victim? No, it was, you know, it's just. You asking me what type of people I would pick, or? Yeah, what type, or whether there was a way. I didn't really have a type. Okay. I had a preference, but that it wasn't. What's the preference? Well, <laughs> lightweight. Is that because of attraction or because of disposal? Yeah, it's kind of makes it easier. Okay. But, you know, it's not. It's 
not a deal breaker. No, I don't know. I just. It, Say like nice. the couriers that was well no there were a couple other times but I don't know there are places where it always surprises me you know like some situations you read about in the paper like so and so disappeared presumed boating accident. For example, when they find their boat, you don't know what really happened to that person. I'm not the only person who figured this out. You think there's a lot of people like you out there? No, but I don't think it takes a lot, you know? <laughs> and like I say, if if you're not picky, if you can control your If I had been able to control myself, then, you know, who knows you know, how long you know, I don't know. Are yeah. you telling us that there's that there's bodies that have been found that were accidental deaths, that, that ruled like that, or that look like that? Is that what you're telling us? Well, maybe one. For the most part, for me, no. I'm just saying, as, as an example. So like, someone, someone might say, "Oh, it looks like a boating accident," but you knew. Boating accident. Fire. Hiker disappears. Fire. Fires. So on one instance where you killed somebody, it would it appeared in the news, news as if it were an accident. That's got to be kind of well empowering. But you. well, right. I never took that for granted though, because I knew I've known for a long time, because of the things that I've done that have been in the news. I've known that, like what you read that happened and what I know that actually happened. Sometimes it's almost not even recognizable, really. So I I never took it for granted. I always assumed that. If a body was found, that they were somebody was going to be after me for it. I was always prepared for that, and I always had. I always thought I had alibis and stuff. Like that was always in the back of my mind. It's kind of hard to keep track of after a while, but, you know. But you anticipated they found the body. Here's what my story is going to be. Right. Were there any close calls where they found a the body and you were prepared, kind of prepared for that? Well, like I say, I don't know if it was a close call. I don't know. I, don't, I know that. Um, I know that what was made public, it never seemed like it was close to me. But the body recovered, and you were worried they were going to come and ask questions about it. Yeah. Was that only one time? Yeah. Did you consider that a mistake on your part? Somehow no. that the body was recovered? Well, I don't. Back then. Yeah. Yeah, it was a mistake. I mean. What happened? Were you rushed? Did you not do something the way you planned? No, I was, uh, it was kind of the same situation as, as the couriers. I just wasn't in a position to get rid of it right away. And uh, so I decided to try and make it look, 
I mean, it was already going to be assumed that it was an accident and, uh, of some sort, and uh, my concern was that the body would be found before it had decomposed enough. How long ago was that? That was a while ago. But the body. So wait, I don't get. I don't get that. Your concern was the body wouldn't have been decomposed enough. That makes it sound like you went back, or. No, I'm just saying if it had been found right away, it probably wouldn't have been thought to be an accident anymore. Oh, okay. I read a story once about uh, an elderly couple that. Uh, but I think it was like an arson or something like that where, you know, to like try to cover up the bodies. Is that the kind of thing you're talking about? Not specifically, but no, I know what you're saying. Where, where, the, where they were probably killed, but they recovered the bodies in a, you know, in a house fire. And, you know, on, on inspection, they're, they think they are probably dead before the fire. Too, so. Yeah. Is that the kind of thing you're talking about? No, you can get around that. Like, <laughs> get around that? How so? Oh, just the whole. I no, I I know what you're saying. Like the people try to use fires to cover up murder, but right. if you don't plan it out right, it doesn't work. Yeah, usually they can tell that they were dead. Or right, because the body's not going to burn up all the way, so you have to make sure that whoever whoever's in the fire has to still be breathing when the fire is going on, or else it doesn't work. So that the smoke kills them or something like that. Right. So, but you were talking about a body that wasn't going to be decomposed enough. That's what I'm not understanding. Right. Yeah, because I wasn't planning on. I wasn't planning on going back and getting rid of it. I was just gonna. I was just hoping that. I thought it would be found. I just was hoping it would be enough time that. that they wouldn't be able to figure out that it wasn't natural causes kind of death. So like you're talking about somebody just found in a house that wouldn't be missed for a really long time, something like that? No. That's a good idea though. It's kind of hard to figure out. Well, like the couriers, if that house would remain standing for what ten years or something, and then somebody went ten years later. There wouldn't be much to find. So you. No, in that case, I was planning to go back. Right, but the other case you're talking about, you were not planning on going. Right, back. but you thought you would enough time would pass that the bodies would decompose. Enough, yeah, enough. Yeah. Were you worried that evidence of sexual assault or the method of death was going to be discovered if it, if they just yeah method of death. Mm -hmm. So in that case, the bodies were found. Body, yeah, the body was found. Body was found, yeah. but nobody ever suspected foul play. I don't know. But it was enough time that you were. I wasn't too worried about it. How long? I was how concerned long? about it. I wasn't. How long was it between the time that uh, you left the body and the time it was discovered? Um, I don't remember exactly what the date, because I didn't read about it till quite a bit later. I kind of read about it after the fact. So I don't know what date it was actually found. But it was, I remember thinking at the time I, I wasn't that worried. I was kind of concerned, but I wasn't. I was never worried. Like even with this 
dumb stuff has to happen. I was never worried. I was always, like I say, I was concerned. I would try and try and figure out like work what to do in case of worst case scenario kind of thing. But I wasn't. It's not like I was uh, obsessed with it. Or well, when this body was found. Was there a plan that you had to put in place, or you just said, stay cool, see what happens? With stuff like that, I was mostly worried about being talked to about it, just as, um, not as a suspect, just being talked to about it, period. Anyone just saying, hey, did you read about this? No, like anyone in law enforcement. Oh, okay. Like if my if someone had seen my license plate in the area, or whatever. Oh, we saw your truck. Right, I area. was, because I, I Because I get nervous talking to normal people, so I figured if I was ever put in an interview room, or even just interviewed person to person, <coughs> I didn't think I could pull it off. Like if I knew something, I was pretty sure that anyone who was asking me about it was going to notice something. Something. Mm -hmm. So I. So that was my main concern, always to make sure it never got to that point. <coughs> and, 